Hi, and welcome back to My Handmade Lifestyle. I'm Patty, and I go by Patty Magnets everywhere online. On this channel, I love to share with you all of my favorite hobbies, and today I want to share with you something that is a particular favorite, and that is a sewing pattern. So don't go anywhere. The project that I'm going to share with you today is made by my online friend Stephanie of Suits and Says. She makes the most darling little sewing patterns and I have made her items before. I will link over to uh, the um, felt craft kittens that I've done and uh, I have my own pattern that I did with my friend Deanna uh, for a mouse that goes with the kitten so <laughs> it's really cute uh, I'll give you links below on where you can find those patterns and uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel today and leave a like on the video and while you're on my website subscribe to my email list <laughs> okay <laughs> let's get into the video I have made this little bunny pattern before and in fact those are the first two that I made and they're so cute and I was inspired to remake this pattern because I've been practicing and working really hard on my embroidery skills and I wanted to do the faces again and um, just restitch the pattern in general it's a fun project and um, let me show you what I did because it's way cute and I think it's perfect for Easter and really what I wanted was a new project that I could share on my blog for Easter. Yeah. How cute is this? I mean really. <laughs> I love it so much. This is the most fun little pattern to sew and what I really like about it is it gives you some practice with simple embroidery as well as uh, simple stitching. Now when she makes her bunnies she did them with uh, bandana fabric which is cool. I used uh, just quilting cotton that I had here in my stash and I think it's really cute and I think it's very springy which is what I wanted for an Easter post. And let me show you the back. Oh my goodness, isn't that cute? A little, little bunny tail, the little cotton tail. I love it so much. So um, I also personalized uh, the bunnies by adding this little bow, because I thought that was cute. And I just, I glued it on. I used my, my friend Tacky Glue and glued that on. And I uh, did an addition to the face where I did a satin stitch nose in a color and I gave my bunnies little freckles just because I thought it was cute and um, you know who doesn't love freckles and with this little polka dot fabric I thought it was really cute so this is a smaller one and then ta -da, ta -da, there's a bigger one <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they cute? So it's, you know, it's like a mama and a baby, basically. Okay, I'm going to defer to um, Patty of the past, and I'm just going to give you a few little tips and tricks that I um, figured out as a beginning sewist on how to um, have the most success possible making these little bunny pillows and I mean they're, they're adorable and I will link um, below as well as on the post to Stephanie's um, pattern because it's it's way cute okay let's let's get into the video and I will share with you how I made these the first thing I'm going to show you is um, how I actually um, did the little face because you are going to need to do some simple embroidery to make the face. <clears throat> so I printed out the sheet that has a bunch of little faces. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I did that now, but um, they kind of run off the edge and you know what, that's okay. So like the most complete one is over here. So I just took my little piece of fabric 
and I laid it over top like that. And I find that if I take my Ot Light, which I have over here, and uh, I lay the design flat on the table and I put the Ot Light in really close, I can pretty easily trace the designs onto the fabric. So that's what I did, <clears throat> and I just used one of these um, water soluble, air water soluble ink pens, it's the disappearing ink, and they work like a charm. So I just like drew out my little face. I drew the outline so that I know uh, when I'm done stitching the little face on, I know where to cut. And when I cut that, I will do it with uh, pinking shears, which you can see here. And that's so that it doesn't uh, fray because the pinking shears will help with the fray. It's gonna do a little bit, but that's all right. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, another option is you can use felt because the felt won't fray. Um, with the felt, you're not gonna be able to trace. So um, that's where that fabric solvy product comes in because you can trace your design on the fabric solvy, you then put it onto the felt, and you stitch right through this fabric solvy. Um, so that is another option. But uh, I just have this linen on hand. Um, I'm trying to use my scraps, and uh, that's how I'm gonna do it. So anyway, I just um, did on this little scrap, and I'm going to wind up putting it into a uh, six inch hoop and stitch away. And um, when I did this, it's just backstitch. So all of the black is backstitch. So I backstitch the whole design, which you can see clearly here. Everything is backstitched. And then I did um, satin stitch for the nose. And you can do different colors, which is kind of fun. So if your child has a favorite color, you can do that favorite color for the nose. It doesn't have to be red or pink. It could be anything. Uh, and then I did the little freckles, um, which are here, which I just thought were adorable. And they're just French knots. So it um, gives you a little bit of an option where you can add some of your own little color twist to the project. So that's the embroidery part. And you're going to have uh, both a face and a little tail to cut out. And then I put the little pillow stuffing um, under each just to give it a little more dimension so that's what I did there um, I want to show you the actual pattern so when I first printed this out this was the one that I did and what I didn't um, really understand is that you want this measurement to be a whole inch that's the scale <laughs> so my first bunny was really small and um, let me tell you, this was really hard to sew. The ears were really tough. So I wound up having to uh, go back and really look at what I was doing because this was way too small. And uh, I wound up expanding the size of the, the pattern uh, in my printer. I don't know how else to explain that. You wanna make sure that this is actually an inch, which will give you this. So you can see it's quite a size difference. So I had a little bit of trouble getting it all to fit on a page. Um, so what I wound up doing was I printed this one out. This was the inch. You can see it's, I mean, it's a really remarkable difference. And then I wound up taking what printed from my printer and then I took, um, like brown paper and I drew the bunny rabbit out onto the brown paper and you can see I mean I was missing some stuff so I just spilled it in and I must have like done it on the fold yeah I did it on a fold I did it on a fold so it would be uh, symmetrical but I just spilled it in and that gave me a complete pattern to work from. And then what I do is I use this pattern to lay out on the fabric. And I take that same 
um, dissolving pen that I used to draw my um, embroidery and I sh tr traced out the shape of the bunny. So this goes on to the fabric and then I draw around it and then I cut it out and I used pinking shears to cut because I like pinking shears and I'm certainly not skilled enough to feel comfortable doing um, curves with um, the uh, the blade cutter this thing these you have to be really really careful with so I just drew it out and used my pinking shears and that was that bunny and while I was in the process of sizing my bunny up to the proper size I had this other little one that's like a medium bunny and I went ahead and thought I would do both so I have a medium and a large and I'm going, going to set both of those. I find that you can use the same face on both. So that bunny face, I mean, it's a little bit big, but it's okay. It, it fits fine. Um, you can size it down if you want to, but I think that's, I don't think it's necessary. You can just put that same face, which is what I did. So um, my first step is I'm going to, um, get this face made. Um, I wanted to add that I used uh, the top from this jar to draw the circles for the tails. So I'm just going to cut those out and then they'll be ready. And I just used like a simple running stitch to um, attach them onto the bunny body. <laughs> Say that three times fast. And um, a little bit of stuffing and we're good to go. So, okay, I'm gonna start working on the bunny rabbits. And now they're cut out and I'm going to uh, just use that running stitch and put the face on uh, just like I did the tail and um, you do want to take it easy on the stuffing if you decide to stuff because it makes it challenging to put the bunny parts together <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead now and stitch the face on and then uh, put um, the right sides together and we can finally put this piece on the sewing machine. Uh, honestly, this, doing the face, that's the longest part of the process is getting that face on. All right, I've got my uh, bunnies pieced together. I've got the right sides together. So you can see there's the tail and there's the little face and those are facing each other. And I've gone ahead and pinned all the way around and I've marked a 3 8 inch seam allowance on my machine. So I'm going to leave an opening at the very bottom of the bunny. And
Okay, <laughs> now we're into the, to the part we've all been waiting for, which is we get to turn out our bunnies. So you can see everything's stitched together and um, you want to be really careful with it because you've got those embroidered faces on the bunny. So what I do is I just kind of get the first ear and pull it through and then I go and get the second ear and pull it through. And I think that's the easiest way to turn your bunny out. But here we are so far. Oh, it's so cute, isn't it? So you're gonna take some time and you're going to just work out all of your seams. You can use the uh, blunt end of a chopstick. They work really super nice for turning out um, the seams. You wanna get your ears all turned out. And it, it'll look much better once I get the stuffing in. It'll round out a little better. Okay, I'm gonna do the other one and I'll check back in with you. That's today's video and I sure appreciate you watching. I hope that it gave you a few little tips and tricks for making one of these little bunny rabbits. Uh, there are some just, I don't know, little things to keep in mind when you uh, do these downloadable patterns. And uh, I, I hope you found it helpful. And I hope that you will make some bunnies, please. It's so cute. Uh, if you are inspired to make them, make sure that you tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your bunnies. And for heaven's sake, tag Stephanie at Swoots and Says, because I know she's going to want to see them. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.